Marijuana existed long before the Rastafarian movement, but there is no question that the Rastafarians contributed to its popularity more than any group of people. It is like the face of Rastafarians. Many Rastas consider it as a sacrament, a religious rite. How many decades does the movement need to win their religious right? They certainly have the power, but not utilizing it. Gays and lesbians are perfect examples of what smart demonstrations can produce. Gays and lesbians have more rights and recognitions than the Rastafarian movement. We cannot solely blame it on the system because there are no meaningful efforts by the Rastafarians to have marijuana rights for themselves, nor for our children, they bait into it and partially control. Only hypocritical efforts of songs that promote using marijuana which has two major effects. One, money in their pockets. Two, more, us more usage and jail to our children. It is time for the public to question if it is not a devilish movement that coexists with the very system they claim to be victims of. Intentions and effects are two different things. We cannot read intentions, but we can read effects and it's dumb to ignore negative effects. Satan and every criminal can claim good intentions, but we must focus on the effects more than the empty claims. Rather than empty songs, we need songs that call for a specific day as worldwide demonstration to legalize or decriminalize marijuana. Call it Rastafarian Day or whatever. Join the 420 movement or my call for Smoke Up Sunday, July 29, 2012. Initiate or support, and I believe we need it at least once every month. Every last Sunday of the month should be a demonstration for the decriminalization of marijuana. I have personally offered some money to some Rastafarian artists to make songs for my protest day, but they choose not to respond somehow. Music is an other strong weapon of the Rastafarian movement that homosexuality and many other successful movements do not have. People bring down governments through Facebook and other means. Governments can censor one person's efforts like myself, but not thousands and millions of people trying to bring something together. So it is clearly a question of efforts and their cowardly tendency of excuse, excuse, excuse. Unity happens to be one of the mantras. They can organize big shows in unity that fat in their pockets while we go to jail. They reach out to hip hop and other music to make worldwide hits. They have sold out to accept alcohol with near zero criticisms compared to early Rastafarians, and the list goes on. So they are in many ways money worshippers like the system they hypocr hypocritically underfight. Western governments threaten them with travel bans, and that may be the reason they ignore my call. The reality remains, if marijuana was decriminalized, that may open m better doors for them. I care about the public and gauge things based on contribution. Right now, they contribute to the jailing of our children, similar to cops, spies, and informers. Commercial songs that invite to what may lead to jail is some form of baiting. We need songs to make the people, in a way, to stay away from jail. Imagine just 100 songs from the top 200 Rastafarian artists promoting July 29, 2012 as Smoke Up Sunday or Rasta Day that there will be a free concert or a simple protest at downtown in every city of more than one million people. How many millions do you think will gather and defy the very system you claim to be victims of? People will come for marijuana, for justice, and for the free concert for the smaller cities. Are you afraid of one day arrest every month? How much can you sacrifice for your religious right and our children who are tempted to use marijuana and are getting arrested every day. Stop being cowards and hypocrites that complain without actions. But Mali claims soon we will know who the real revolutionaries are. Unquote. I wonder what was in his mind, but his soon is not soon enough. And there are certainly no real revolutionaries in the Rastafarian movement. Only cowards and hypocrites as far as I can see. They cannot initiate nor can they support unless it fattens their pockets. I have very little, so I cannot offer you millions. This is something you should do for free and should have initiated before me. Alcoholic lesbian cops may arrest you. Cigarette smoking gay cops may continue to brutalize our children due to marijuana. Partly due to society, but also 
due to the Rastafarian movement, especially Rasta musicians. You can help in the awakening of society. You can certainly get the message out and the public out. You should, you can, uh, but do you really want to? I think you need to and should double up efforts for better results. I am upset with the government, upset with society, but I am also upset at the Rastafarian movement and will show it beyond marijuana, but mainly due to their pop standing on marijuana that essentially bait the children for the cops. Then they hypocritically stand afar with empty wishes of false sympathy. Fight with us or you are against us. This is a factual statement when pain is in question. And I said it before Judge Bush who misused the term. Everything in life is about standards and efforts. And freedom has never been given on a platter by the oppressors. We have to fight for our rights. You use your music to promote the usage of a good product that many consider bad, but sometimes we need fighting, words and actions, boots on the ground. You criticize religions and governments that, that we cannot do without. Or are a lot more helping than the Rastafarian movement. They certainly have more achievements than the Rasta movement. You have angered me and I will expose you and may imprecate against you for not fighting enough for marijuana. It is good to rebel and reject falsehood, but you should also seek truth with patience. This will require humility to admit misinterpretation, but with the determination to seek the ultimate truth. You cannot reject, reject, reject. Seek truth within yourself, but also outside yourselves. The beloved Marcos Gavi was a fighter who organized protests through thinking, boots on the ground, and beyond. You do not think, nor do you fight, except to fat in your pockets. Marcos said, look to the east for the coming of a black king. This does not mean for the coming of a black god or a god of humanity. Selassie I was a respectable person who may have misspoke when he titled himself King of Kings. Even Muhammad Gaddafi did claim the illusory title, but meaning within humankind. I strongly believe it was mere rhetorics as Selassie I was a practicing Christian and refused your exaggerated interpretation as to mean God. There are evidence of him talking and practicing as a Christian. After pressure upon pressure, Selassie accepted to be a symbolic leader of your liberty movement to ease you from disgrace, but he remained to be a Christian. His family and many other evidence confirm he was a Christian. Marcos Gavi himself didn't see Selassie I as the king he vaguely prophesied, or a god in any way. Marcos even criticized Selassie I. So we must humbly seek and accept truth, learn from each other, and await the universal master of judgment day. It doesn't matter if you call him Jah, Yahweh, Allah, God, or any respectable name. However, our perception of the highest one should not be insulting or blasphemous. We can still respect Selassie I and quote him where need be with utmost respect. God does not come to the world as man for years of suffering, struggles, defeats, learning, walking, and having fun and pain like we do. Even some of his agents, like the sun and the moon, are above resting, sleeping, feeling fatigue, etc. You can believe whatever you want to, and it wouldn't bother me. The responsibility to suggest to you and protect my children from the nonsense you sometimes preach True music is the primary reason to confront your faulty thoughts. I will have been a lot nicer to you if you have promoted marijuana as you should, but res and respected other cultures, like early Rastafarians, like Peter Toss, Buddy Wheeler, and the bunch. Peter Toss did defy Christianity, but he respected many other forms of cultures and religions. We happen to share our love for the black race and ought to try harder for our earthly and heavenly success collectively. On our earthly success, we need to embrace soul of Trinity with religion on a personal level. This does not mean soul of Trinity and religion cannot coexist at every level. It simply means those who are Rastafarians, Christians, Muslims, and other religions must understand the need to live in harmony and our common need to embrace soul of Trinity as much as we can. Personally, I believe Islam is the religion with the highest chances of heavenly success and happens to be more black than many Rastafarians can guess.